hope we all had a good night's sleep. Well, you're welcome to the Asante region, or Ashanti region, and you are in the second largest city outside Accra, and precisely in Kum Ase. Kum Ase, or spell K U M A S E. That's supposed to be the original spelling of Kumasi, but due to corrupt, they corrupt the name to Kumasi, which is spelled K-U-M-A-S-I, Kumasi. Now, the Asante region is one of the most endowed region in Ghana, full of mineral or natural resources like gold, timber, and others. Kumasi was founded in the late 1700th century by King Osai Tutu. Before the foundation of the Asante Empire, all the other states were different chiefdoms. But with the help of Okonfo Anoche, the fetish priest, the famous fetish priest, they founded the Asante Kingdom in the 16th and 17th centuries. And from the forest area, it goes all the way, the Asante Empire extends from the forest area into the north all the way to the coast, coastal zone. The Asantes defy their history by through the wars and victories they won. They are brave and smart people. Now, the Asante region, when we are talking about unadulterated culture, it is the unofficial cultural capital of Ghana. The Asantehini is the head of all the chiefs, over 60 to 70 chiefs and queens. So he is at the apex of all the chiefs and is one of the most powerful or most powerful <coughs> king in Ghana. The current Asantehine is called Osai Tutu II because he chose when you are being elected as a chief, you'll be led into a storeroom, you'll be taken to a storeroom, what we call the black storeroom, and then You'll be blindfolded and you'll be asked to touch one of those tools. And when you touch and the previous chief or king, you will take that name. So if you are now known as Mr. Bumani Tahiba, your name will change. That will be your private name now, and you'll be known as Nana this and that the second. So if it's the 15, you then you are the 15. If you are the 16, then you are the 16. Now, Kumasi is also, an in, also known as Osekrom. Osekrom simply translates Osekstown, or literal translations Osekstown, because King Osekstown, or the Santini Osekstown, who found Kumasi and is uh, given to him. The other is the Garden City of West Africa. Now, the Garden City of West Africa, it is believed that the Queen gave that name because when he came, he see a lot of beautiful flowers. Well, I've not seen those flowers. Maybe they've all extinct. So they also call it the Garden City of West Africa. Confanoche, the famous British priest, united the Santos when he conjured the Sikadra Kofi on that the Sikadra Kofi is a stool, the golden stool that he can draw, bringing all the Asante chiefs together at a, at a spot, and then he can draw the golden stool from the sky, and he landed on the lap of King Osai Tutu the first. And from there on, they did not look back, and they created one of the most powerful empires in West Africa. This 
area of Kumase is Danyami, where the Mikling Hotel is, is Danyami, and there are several suburbs just like Accra. Now, there is a saying that Confanoche, when he stabilized or brought the Asantes together, they wanted the capital. So the capital of Kumasi was chosen because it is believed that they plant, Confanoche plant two kum trees, one in Kumasi here and the other in the, another city called Kumewu, and he said the gods have instructed him that where that tree flourish and grow did not die, that's where the gods want the capital of the Asante Empire to be sighted, so the tree here survived. Now, the Asantes also fought two wars with the British, like I said yesterday, they fought two wars main war with the uh -huh. British. The first one, the British were defeated by the Santos, where Macaulay, the leader, uh, Makati, sorry, Charles Makati was captured and he died in that battle. The second one was the Yasantua War. Now the Yasantua War was provoked by the demand of the governor that the Santos should surrender the golden stool. But in this golden stool, he had it as Kofanoche uh, conjured the stool, he says, in it is the souls of Asante. And the day this stool will disappear, that will be the end of the Asante Empire or the Asante Kingdom. And therefore, they hold this stool very sacred. And the Asantini sits on the golden stool. Now, the golden stool is symbolism. It has not sit on it itself. It comes out during the Adai Kese, when they celebrate the biggest festival. Once in every five years, I think. If, uh, I think once in every five years when they celebrate that. So when the governor demanded it, Yasantua was looking up to the other chiefs because Prepper the Second was captured and exiled to the Seychelles Island. So he was expecting the other chiefs to stand up to the governor to say, hey, you cannot demand our pride. You cannot demand the stool. You cannot. So he went out and he realized that as they were not forthcoming, he rallied the troops and they, she declared war and they fought until her army also was defeated and then she was also exiled to the Seychelles Island. So that was the Yasan War in 1900. So we are now on the Prepare the Second Street and coming up, this is the only to my left. And to your right it is the Armed Forces Museum or the only inland fort in the only inland fort in Ghana. That's side here. And we are now on the Prepper the Second Street. Prepper the Second was a Santini that was exiled to the Seychelles Island. But fortunately, he was returned. And so that is the statue of Prepare the Second. Coming up, Prepare the Second Roundabout or Prepare the Second Street that we are on. Yeah. 
precisely yeah. precisely in 1696 Asante Hine, he took on the title Asante Hine, and that was when the golden stool was conjured and brought down and landed on the lap of the uh, and bringing all the other configurations together. Now, whilst the other regions are multi-ethnic, the Asante region is the only region that is of one tribe. Why where they speak only one language, the three language, TWI. Yes, but even though they are all Asantes, within it we have the division. We have the Asante Achimps, which occupy another area. We have the Adanse Asantes. We have the Quabres, and we have the others, forming, but they all speak one language. Now when you see any other language being used by people around, it is because Kumasi is a cosmopolitan city and therefore people from all walks of life reside here. But these are all the Indians speak the Asante tree. And so you have the Quabra, we have the Kabins, and then all the, those people. So they form the Asante region. Yes. Yeah, I found it um, interesting because all the other groups, you know, a lot of them intermingled and stuff, took group names and stuff. But even with that, and it was easier to get to them on the coast as opposed to, you know, coming with the Shantis. And I noticed a lot of the Shantis have those same European names too. Yes. You know, the blessing and patience and all this, the comfort and all that. Yeah. Well, blessings and in the olden days, for if you come here in the early 60s and you come into a century, you hardly see uh, inscriptions in English or you hardly see them with this. But now, yes, yes. I see it a lot. I yes. Know a lot of now, in terms of, yeah, because all that happened because we now adopt the English name as Christian names. Now, I want to refer to the 